guys, so the Superstar here, and today I'll be doing a uh, boot sale haul for you guys uh, that I recently went to. Um, I bought quite a bit of stuff, and I've got a lot to show you guys. So let's uh, let's move on. Let's, uh, so obviously this is the first time that I bought. Um, this isn't very rare. It's just a basic sight toy from Burger King, which came out in 993. It's uh, rather in good condition, so I will add this to my collection. I probably swap it with a more damaged one. So you guys. From America, don't know anything about these or have a country. I'll be gladly show you quickly the markings and what it does. So all you do is you just turn this uh, little lever here. You just do it up in it. It just runs and turns on 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 obviously a more better surface than this. Okay, so that's Dr. Robotnik I got. Um, another item that I got was um, an old Terminator figure. Um, and this guy was made in uh, 1991. Uh, this is uh, supposed to be Arnold. Obviously, it's a bit of a different design. Now, I like the Terminator, and I'm a big fan of it, so I thought I'd buy this for old time's sake. I'd like to get some bit of retro back in my collection, so definitely went with him. He's in great condition. He isn't with his uh, equipment, which is a shame, but overall, he's in great condition, so... Um, he wasn't worth much. I didn't get him for resale purposes. I got him because I wanted to my collection. So yeah, cool Terminator figure. Next one is a Turtles figurine. Um, this is Michelangelo, and this is a rather unique toy. He pushes his head down, shell comes out, and as you can see inside the shell, it is made. It is a McDonald's toy from 2007, so I don't know what was inside here before. I have no idea, so... But it's in good condition, and it's rather cool. I think Sant used a slot in there, but I've got no idea, so... Nice little, uh... Yeah. Um... And these are quite interesting items. I picked these up on a stall, um for a couple of quid and these are the Sailor Moon uh, anime these are pencils obviously these are just normal pencils and these were made by Van Presto in Japan in 1995 as you can see there and these are just awesome and so unique I love Sailor Moon always been a fan of it and I had to grab these you know it's just a rare rare Japanese item and I just had to grab it so yeah, these are, as you can see on each individual pencil, have their own designs and whatnot. All different and unique and rather cool. So yeah, some rather cool Japanese pencils I picked up. Um, managed to find some rare Batman slammers and pogs. Um, as you can see here, these, I found out, I did some research and these two... Well, I've got double of this one, but these two are actually from Japan, and they came out in 1940 from DC Comics. They're really awesome, and I'm so glad I got these. So, as you can see there, these are obviously Pogs. Yeah. Made by another company called uh, Waddington's. And... Um, I did pick up another unique item. Now, these are metal slammers. Now, I don't know the origin, the country, the year, or anything, but these are definitely interesting. I mean, I don't know if they're bootleg or not. I have no idea. I can't... I've got no idea where these come from. But when I saw them, I just had to pick them up. I'm going to show you guys one by one what these are. You've got Robin there. You've got Two-Face. You've got um, even ones from the movie. It's Catwoman from The Batman Returns. Uh, there's more of a sort of a comic -y, comic style Catwoman. Uh, Batman. From Batman, probably the old movies, with looks of it. Can't really tell. And we have the old Batman. Animated series Batman. So yeah, they're rather unique and cool. I really love them, really nice. So I'll just put them over there. So far, so good. Um, I did manage to find one Sonic Hunt that no one managed to get hold of and see, and that is this nice Tao's yo-yo. Now, 
I've actually don't own any of these. I own a Sonic one, or well, I own this one now, but obviously not the Sonic one. I know these come in a set, as far as I know. I think there's a Dr. Robotnik one as well, so I think there's three in a set. But anyway, there's the um, marking. If it can zoom itself in. So yeah, um, this lights up when you uh, play with it and that, so it's a really nice, good addition to my Sonic collection. So I'm happy with that. Um, now these are rather unique items, I can't find them on eBay whatsoever. And these are these small 1999 Pokemon figures by Nintendo. Now these are definitely weird figures. Um, well, I, these actually are keychains, not figures. So yeah, um, they're rather unique. I don't know what they were used for, but I reckon they had sweets inside. Because when you open the middle, obviously something was inside. But I've got no idea what. And there's some weird string here that I've got no idea what the origin is to that. So, yeah, these are really nice little uh, keychains, so I had to pick them up. There were about six of these, but I just managed to grab just two of them. Um, I don't know why I didn't grab all of them, but they were a pound each, but I didn't want to grab them all. Yeah. So, yeah, I've got Pikachu and Bulbasaur. So, yeah, these guys are going to be going in my collection. Really nice little things. Um, I managed to find, I did buy myself a plush. That is the year 2000 Blastoise plush tags, mint condition. Um, now, this guy is going on eBay at the moment for 25 or £22 at the moment, and I bought him for uh, 50p. So it goes to show you guys, should definitely look around. So yeah, he is definitely an awesome, really great condition. He is, he is my favourite Pokemon, so yeah. I think it says... Something so the company is made by Play by Play. It's an official Nintendo product and it was made in two thousand the year two thousand, it says down the bottom. So yeah, an awesome plush to my collection. Very happy with that. Okay, next we have a rather unique Naruto puzzle. Jigsaw puzzle. Uh, this came out in 2002, I believe, and I haven't seen this one on eBay, so it must be uh, quite rare. Um, it's made by Mattel, which is a very high popular manufacturer in this country and other countries. And um, yeah, it is an official product, and it is not on eBay at the moment. I can't find it, so it must be decent and obviously rare to hold up. Um, I will probably have a go at this in the future. So oh, yeah, it is definitely a nice piece for my Naruto collection, it's really cool. So yeah, Naruto puzzle. Uh, my next piece now, there's a lot of mugs to show you guys now. I've got about, I bought five uh, mugs and they are, um, they are Batman themed. And these are actually from the... 1989 film and these are really old retro mugs and they are in fantastic condition so yeah these are in mint condition there's nothing wrong with them so here you've got a black basic design one um, I've got quite an awesome one coming up here now it is a Jack Nicholson Joker one it is really awesome as you can see there I just love the design just so awesome. He's my favourite Joker overall out of all the films. He's just flawless. Um, the company, I believe, was made on Color Roll or something. Let's have a look at this one. This one's more easier to look at. Um, Color Color Roll. What name? That's the company that produced them. Um, these are fetching a little bit of money on eBay, and some of these I'll be showing you next are not on eBay so they definitely are rare. Okay we've got another joke one here from the uh, these are from the first Batman movie by the way if you guys are not obviously noticing and obviously this one here is another one from the first movie uh, 1989 this is uh, called Michael Keaton I believe is Batman and obviously Jack Nicholson. Um, this is when I think Jack Nicholson's uh, advertising his uh, Joker brand on TV 
so it looks like it anyway so yeah really amazing awesome designs um, one more from the first movie it's just Batman standing there you got his Batmobile really cool these um, this one is on eBay for £15 this one I can't find and these other two I can't find either so these are extremely rare now an even more rarer and expensive probably cup is going to be here now now this this is a 1952 I believe what's this Nineteen eighty-two, maybe I can't. I think it's eighty-two. It looks like an eight anyway, but it's either fifty-two. Looks like a nineteen eighty-two, but um, this one is quite rare and it is really different and unique. It's it's a lot smaller than the other two. So yeah, it is definitely different. It looks like sort of the Adam West era by the looks of it or just before or after it so yeah this is definitely an awesome uh, rare cup to have um, I don't know what company made this one it doesn't have a company for some reason but no idea why but yeah oh we have the company obviously sorry guys yeah here's the company I'll just show you quickly if it can zoom itself in smash it in a minute all right so it's by um, company called you got DC Comics there it's about a company I can't read so a lot of uh, it's a bit worn out from over the years so yeah so so far so good guys this is what I got okay now to move on now for a bit um, I've got a few books now so we've got Digimon 2001 annual from uh, Pedigree yeah, it's really awesome. This is the first series of Pokemon, of uh, po Digimon, I should say, not Pokemon. It's really cool. Just have a quick flip through of you guys. Yeah, I know you've got some Digimon fans out there. I'd like a quick look at this. So you got Sora, Matt, Ty, T, TK, Izzy, Joe, Mimi, the usual bunch, and all the other characters. And what not? So you've got a lot of information about them, about the characters. You've got some mini games in here, and you've actually got quite an in-depth uh, comic, as well as some more puzzles. So this is definitely awesome, and definitely a keeper. Uh, I think definitely awesome. Okay, some uh, retro stuff coming up now. Found this Nintendo magazine. It's called Club Nintendo Classics. It's just uh, all about Nintendo and the old games that used to come out. Pretty awesome. And very old. As you can tell. You've got the old style there. Now, this is very cool. Uh, when did this come out? I'm trying to think. This came out in 1990. It's just that so it's a rare awesome book now an even more cooler book now we have a sticker album by uh, Merlin stickers which I do remember when I was a kid uh, these made a few uh, different designs of these sticker albums in the past I have another couple coming soon um, so this one's all about obviously Nintendo and all its uh, special and most popular games uh, you've got maps and level guides so tips tactics tricks and cheats so it's got loads of stuff here just gonna quickly flip through with you guys so this person who I bought this off has practically nearly finished this uh, sticker album off he hasn't completed it but he's pretty much done it all um, you have Mario in here you have uh, Donkey Kong I believe you have uh, Zelda uh, Link and all that different Mario games mainly Mario because he was the he's the mascot of Nintendo obviously uh, I think that's about it so as you can see it looks very much different 
Oh, that is really awesome. Um, this came out in 1992, and it was 50p, and I actually paid uh, 50p for it, so that's a pretty good bargain. Another unique book I bought was the Street Fighter sticker album by Merlin once again. Um, a really awesome book as well. It's all about the main characters. Obviously, you've got Bison, Ryu, Ken, Chun Li, Fi Long, DJ, you know, the usual ones. And this has obviously got all the, some of the stickers in here of some of the characters, but yeah. Um, and this also came out in 1992 as well. So this is very old and very cool. Okay, so next we have a few classics. We have a couple of uh, Batman books from Ladybird. Um, rather unique. I've got one with the Joker, which is quite cool. Definitely unique and uh, quite original to the movie, I'd say. Another one here. Batman fighting Man Bat. So they're quite interesting, cool books. Um... Another book here, this is the last book I believe, it is the Turtles Annual, um, this is a 1989 one, so it says there at the bottom, licensed by Mirage Studios, copyright promotions and all that, so this is definitely awesome, unfortunately it's been coloured inside a little bit, but majority of it is in good condition. Let's quickly show you guys what I mean. So as you can see, some guys just trying to colour this in. Uh, but it's got some awesome comic strips in here. Good stories. Got a lot of the Shredder in here if you're a big Shredder fan. Or well, Roko Soki, if you want to call him that. Got really colourful comic scans here. And a lot of information about the Turtles. So that's really cool. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys some cards here. Um, I bought three sets of cards already sort of complete. Now I've got some Turtles cards here from the original 80s or 90s, whatever you want to call it. And these are the tops cards in here. So there's a lot of uh, cards in here from the 90s, I should say. Sorry, 90s, my mistake. So it's just basically a story of the actual how they become the turtles and whatnot. This isn't a complete album. It's only unfortunately it isn't. It's rather good though. Definitely awesome. Got some good information there. As you can see, unfortunately it's not complete, but I can't do nothing about it. And you've got some cards from the first movie. So yeah, there's one of the shredder there. Anyway, got another one here, if you're a Batman fan, of uh, ones from Batman Returns. Now this is complete, it has all um, 88 cards, and it has stickers involved as well. So I'll just quickly flick through this with you guys, shows you all the classic scenes. Show you guys a bit here. So yeah, you got Catwoman. And at the end is a packet which they used to come in, which is cool to have. A little freebie. Oh yeah. So that's the Batman sticker album and card albums. And the next one is for the Terminator fans. It is a complete collection of Terminator 2. So as you can see here, you've got pictures from scenes of the movie, Judgment Day, Terminator 2. Now, I'm only flicking through this quickly, guys, because I haven't got much time. And uh, if you guys want to look at this in detail for a review, I'll be more than happy to do so. Just 
do a few good close-ups on some cards. So this is going to go on for a while, so I'm just going to quickly flick through to the end. And at the end, which I found quite incredible, is actually advertisement for Terminator 2. You can see there the merchandise you could have. You've got pens there, you've got like collection of pens there, pen set, you've got t-shirts and you've got photographs. <clears throat> and then you have more t-shirts here and you've got a, a mug here and a hat. So yeah, Terminator 2. And to end it off is a couple of mixed Batman pogs, which I bought also. Uh, these are from like cartoons and whatnot. Uh, the company that do these are from Skycaps. And these were actually made in 1993. So these are quite old and quite retro. Um, I've got a few here from the movie. Uh, Batman Forever, it's quite cool. You got one there from Batman Returns, and a few other mixed ones. And as you got here, you got a few other ones here as well. So I'll just quickly go through these with you. Got the Riddler there. You've got the Two Face, and all sorts of characters. I'll just quickly show you guys some more here. You got from the animated series. So yeah, that's pretty much what I've got guys, that's my entire haul. It's quite a big haul actually, I managed to spend about £40 on all this, which is a great bargain. Oh yeah. Well, that's about it guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, haul that I showed you. As you can see I've got loads and loads of different types of goodies. And uh, yeah. If you guys like what you saw, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, comment if you want to, you know, if you want to discuss some of the merchandise I've just shown in the video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, that would be nice if you subscribed as well. So, that's about it guys. Um, take care of yourselves and have a nice weekend. And I'll speak to you soon for another review.